Hi everybody, this is Dr. Lori Perrin from Slow and Steady 360, and I'm here today to talk to you about the nuts and bolts of intermittent fasting. First of all, what are the benefits of intermittent fasting? Well, multiple scientific studies have shown that intermittent fasting is excellent for weight loss and weight maintenance once you get to your ideal body weight. It improves insulin sensitivity and helps decrease your risk of diabetes, can lower blood pressure, lower cholesterol, and more than anything, it's shown to be anti-aging on the cellular level. Intermittent fasting has also been proven to induce hormesis. What's hormesis, you ask? Hormesis is the mechanism behind growth that our bodies utilize. Daily fasting puts an adaptive stress on the body, which leads to improved metabolism, cell growth and repair, and brain health. Intermittent fasting also helps to drive down your insulin levels, and that helps to unlock your fat stores. Insulin is a fat storing hormone, which puts food that's not immediately burned into your fat stores. After about 12 hours of fasting, your body has utilized its glucose energy stores, and it starts breaking down your fat cells for fuel. What other roles does insulin play in our bodies? Insulin influences autophagy, What's autophagy? Autophagy is the process that cleanses our bodies by removing damaged, dysfunctional, and aging cells. High levels of glucose and insulin turn off autophagy, therefore influencing our aging process. How else do insulin levels directly affect our cells? Well, insulin directly suppresses human growth hormone, while intermittent fasting raises human growth hormone. Human growth hormone plays a key role in cell growth and repair. After autophagy, human growth hormone comes in and helps build new cells, therefore improving the anti-aging process. Intermittent fasting has been proven to boost the regenerative capacity of stem cells. We've learned over the years that a decline in stem cells is a major factor in the aging process. And studies recently from MIT have demonstrated this finding of the regenerative capacity of stem cells improved by intermittent fasting. Are you interested in getting started with intermittent fasting? Well, most common is the 16-8 method, where you pick your eating window, maybe from noon to 8 p.m., or 9 to 5, or 2 to 10. Those options are totally up to you. If you'd like some daily tips or encouragement, please email me at slowandsteady360 at gmail.com and I can help guide you through this process on a day-by-day -day basis. Thanks for listening and I hope you have a wonderful day. Take care. Bye. If you're interested in learning more about intermittent fasting, please check out my longer intermittent fasting video that's uploaded on YouTube for a more detailed explanation of the benefits and the science behind why intermittent fasting is so good for our bodies.